group of institution. We are mechanical engineering students. And we have made a minor final year project which is called the hydraulic ramp pump. Let me tell you about the components present in this apparatus. Here is the storage tank. Through the storage tank, there is an inlet pipe which is one inch thick and it enters the hydraulic ramp pump. Here is a ball valve present. Here is a swing check valve which direction you can see is pointed below. Here is another swing check valve which direction is in that side. And this is the pressure tank. There is a pressure gauge available for we, uh, with which we will see the pressure on this apparatus. This is the ball valve present on the delivery side. And here is the delivery pipe which is 3 by 4 inch thick. Now let's start to know about this working principle of this pump. This pump, how actually it works. There is a one inch pipe through which the water is coming. And there is a ball valve. I am just opening that thing so that the water comes from the water storage, this thing, to the, uh, through this pump. And there is a ball valve. I am opening that thing and the water is coming actually there. And you can see the water coming out through this ball valve. And from the sound, you can really understand what is happening. So what is happening that when the water is coming through this, there is a kinetic energy within the water. And this kinetic energy when it comes over here, as there is pressure build up, it gets converted into stacking just like it stops over here. For that reason, that kinetic energy within the water that uh, 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 transformed into the pressure energy. And this pressure energy is goes through this T and this two direction. We can see there is a, there is a pressure in this direction and also that's one pressure which goes in this direction which really the, uh, push, push the water in this direction. This because this is the one way check valve and whatever water comes in it goes in this direction that cannot be comes in this direction because eh, it is a non return valve. And like this, you can see easily by times and times after times, you can see the pressure is in building within this direction because the delivery side is stopped over here. And we have to stop here for certain time so that pressure in build in this pressure tank. Okay? Let's check the pressure gauge. You can see the reading and the, uh, the, the motion of the uh, needle of the pressure gauge. Let's see about that. Just zoom it over here so that you can see properly. Already there is a pressure of 5 psi. You can easily say that is a 0 to 20, so 5 psi pressure that inbuilt in this direction. And now I am going to open this ball valve. But keep in mind during the opening time of the valve, you should open it not very fast. It must be not very fast, very firmly. And really, you can see the water having effect at the pressure inbuilt so small so that it gets in this direction so you can see the motion is decreased now you can really see the height of the height of the water stand and whatever water is goes over there now you can see the flow and here is also flow right now see and we can just really measure the distance yeah that's good we have done this project Now let's come to the application of this pump. Our society is a power needy society. And our pump apparatus runs without any electricity. As you can see, the delivery is quite, quite at an usable amount. We can get a certain head from it. There are certain uses of this pump in the rural area especially, where there are Abundance of power, uh, abundance of uh, water available 
in the from the strings and we can also find its application in day to day life where we need a certain amount of height the water is to be delivered at a certain amount of amount of height there we can find its application so thank you all of you for watching this video i hope you have liked it